Welcome to Empowered, I'm Elizabeth Namofsky. The word menopause keeps sneaking into almost every conversation that I have with friends and colleagues. Hot flashes, night sweats, and feeling uncomfortable seem to be the topic discussed. And of course, not sleeping enough or at all. Today we'll tackle menopause, hormonal changes, and bone broth. I've asked our resident nutritionist and women's health coach, Annie Goudreau, founder of Vive Health and Wellness, to discuss navigating menopause successfully. Annie, welcome back to Empowered. Thanks for being here today. Thank you for having me, Liz. Okay, so let's begin. How do hormonal changes during menopause affect bone health, and what strategies can women employ to prevent osteoporosis? Well, this is a really important one, Liz, because estrogen has a key role in bone formation. It really um, dictates the activities of the bone cells themselves. So as estrogen levels drop, what we now experience is a gradual bone loss, which leads to risks of osteoporosis. Now, there's a lot that women can do. Right? And the number one strategy is weight-bearing exercises. So that means walking, running, hiking, dancing, jumping, all of those things, as well as strength-type training. We see a lot of, of encouragement right now for women to be lifting weights. That's actually excellent for bone health as well. Let's not forget the super combo of calcium and vitamin D as well, either in food or supplementation. And HRT, hormone replacement therapy, also will support, for sure, the protection of your bones. And last, never forget, no smoking, and let's reduce the alcohol because that also will help you. So uh, in an opinion piece that was recently published in a prestigious medical journal about how we are now over-medicalizing menopause, uh, what's your take on this? Oh, this is a good one, Liz. And I am going to take you to some numbers. This is rare that I do that. So let's go back with our numbers. In 2019, there was a study, and it's still extremely relevant today. 70% um, of the adult population in this age group that, you know, we're talking about here in terms of midlife. Um, what was the number here? Uh, sorry. Uh, at least all of the 70% were on one prescription medication. What are those prescription medications? Number one, antidepressants, and then um, lowering medications of blood pressure as well as cholesterol. Now, even furthermore, 23% of that segment, i.e. asset menopause, are on five prescription drugs. Now, interestingly enough, antidepressant, um, blood pressure, cholesterol are three very clear um, signs and symptoms of menopause. So are we treating the consequences of menopause rather than the root cause? And it's interesting because of the top 10 prescriptions out there for women, not one of them is hormone replacement therapy. So for me, I think that it's pretty clear. We are not over medicalizing menopause. We're treating symptoms and consequences and we are not dealing with the root cause. So I'm, I'm really shocked to see or to hear about so many different prescriptions. I, I had no idea. I mean, I know that some women are on HRT, some, some take supplements or whatever, but I'm shocked to know that, you know, there are the three major ones that you had just talked about. Um, what I want to talk about, we've got less than a minute, so we're going to have to break this up. I want to talk about um, what are the most effective methods for managing menopausal symptoms? So, you know, such as hot flashes and night sweats and mood swings. We're not going to have enough time to do that right now, but I want to talk about um, trying to deal with those symptoms so that we don't have to take all that medication and we can do it, you know, a little, lot more with supplements and, and whatever food or whatever else there is out there, because there are a lot of women that are suffering and a lot of us don't want to be taking drugs on a daily basis. So when we come back, I want you to focus on this because I know it's a huge question 
And uh, there's a lot to answer. So please, ladies, don't go away. We'll be right back with more uh, menopausal help. 